Hey guys, this is Easy to Comp, and today we are going to see about architecture of 8086 microprocessor. The architecture of 8086 contains three parts: the one with architecture, the second with memory segmentation, and third with flags. So today we are going to see about architecture. Architecture of 8086. So this is the architecture of 8086. So architecture of 8086 consists of two parts. The first part is bus interface unit BIU and the second part is execution unit EU. So the segmentation resistors and the IP comes under bus interface unit and general data resistors and pointers and index resistors with flags and ALU come under execution unit. Bus interface unit. The bus interface unit contains the circuit for physical addresses, calculation and a pre-decoding instruction byte queue. It is 6 bit long. It makes the system bus signals available for external interfacing of the devices. In other words, this unit is responsible for establishing communication with external devices and peripherals including memory via the buses. Now we will see about the conversion of segment address to the physical address. Segment address is present in the resistors and physical address is present in the physical memory. So we have to convert every time the segmentation address into the physical address to store the processed data. So first of all we have a segment address which is a hexadecimal value. Second comes the offset address as offset is the displacement. So this is what we have in hexadecimal segment address we took the binary form as this we know physical address is of 20 bytes so we have shifted the segmentation address by 4 bit to get 20 bit address offset address is taken in binary so after adding the offset address and segment address we get a physical address which is equal to this so this is the way for conversion of segment address to the physical address the segment address by the segment value 1005h in our previous example can have offset value from 000h to fffh within it as bus interface unit contains only 6 bytes of space that's why f is 6 till 6 bytes so 6 into 4 is 64k bytes that's why this is the highest value for offset now the segment address value is to be taken from an appropriate segment register depending upon whether the code, data or stack are to be accessed while the offset may be content of IP, BX, SI, DI, SP, BP or an immediate 16 bit value depending upon the addressing mode. Now we will be seeing about execution unit. So the execute part comes under execution unit, fetch and decode is already done using BIU bus interface unit so while the first instruction is executed internally the external bus is used to fetch the machine code of next instruction and arrange it in queue known as pre-decoder in structure byte queue so this is what fetching is done in external buses it is a 6 bits long, first in, first out structure. The instruction from the queue are taken 
to the decoder decoding sequentially. Once a byte is decoded, Q is rearranged by pushing it out and the Q status is checked for the decoding for the possibility of the next opcode fetch cycle. While the opcode is fetched by the bus interface unit, the execution unit executes previously decoded instruction concurrent. Thus, the BIU along with EU thus forms a pipeline. Before 8086 microprocessor, and pipelining concept was not used. So this is a faster processor as compared to 8085. The execution unit contains the resistors of 8086 except the segment resistors and IP. It has a 16-bit ALU able to perform arithmetic and logical operations. The 16-bit flag resistor reflects the result of execution by the ALU. The decoding unit decodes the opcode bytes issued from the instruction byte queue. The timing and the control unit derives the necessary control signals to execute the instruction opcode received from the queue, depending upon the information made available by the decoding circuit. The execution unit may pass the result to the bus interface unit for storing them in memory. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button and please subscribe for further videos on microprocessor.